Welcome back to Black News Tonight. When we think about love and how beautiful it is to experience, we often don't get to see the ins and outs of the relationship and what actually makes them work. But we got a hit series, it's called Black Love, that kicks off its fifth season this Friday on the OWN Network, and it lifts the veil on the realities of romance. So when I see him, I, I kid you That's not, we met. cue music. I turn around, he's like, hey, are you Keita Williams? I turn around, I'm like, Hey, yes, I am. And you know, for that moment, the first time you lay your eyes, I literally, it was the first time I laid my eyes on this man and I thought to myself, oh my God. I'm glad she admitted this. I am, I would never tell him that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know where this is written down, <laughs> I here, but I'd like a copy of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I did think to myself like, damn, he's fine. <laughs> I love these two. Yo, joining me now to talk all things black love are two of this season's stars, Keita Williams, celebrity publicist and co-founder of Grey Heart Creative Group, and her husband, Joe Hardy, CEO of Grey Luxury Transportation. Uh, we watched you two get engaged on television, and now here we are 10 years later, and we get to see how much your love has grown. What made you want to share your story in public, though? great question the crazy part is love has so many different levels most people find that love is supposed to be this great amazing butterfly space that you stay in and it should be those things but being 10 years in and sharing our story 10 years ago a lot of people first of all were shocked that it was real love because it was on reality tv they were like y'all really a couple that's mm -hmm. real but 10 years later you know of course being on that show that i was on before you know it really was about business but falling in love you know i was very private i didn't really get a chance to showcase what black love could look like and 10 years later um trust me there's been some rights and wrongs but we staying strong and being blessed through the process and we wanted to showcase that what did you what learn you about yourselves though <laughs> you you are well trained sir what did, what, what did you <laughs> learn about yourselves uh, and each other right participating in a docu-series like this but there any, you know, anything you didn't expect? You know, I, I think, you know, learning in a relationship is a constant thing. You know, uh, we're 10 years in and we're still uh, learning about each other and how we were brought up and how certain things that we went through as kids has affected how we react as adults. So, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, so I mean, you know, it's just, it, it's life. And I think, you know, keeping God first is most important yeah. but another reason that this show is important is just it you know it gives a vision of what black love is and you know we have a five-year-old and it's important for kids to see uh that you know mom and dad can be together and you know i mean it's not going to be perfect but we're going to work through it and uh you know we're just going to commit to doing the work and we've done that joe did you learn anything about her though? Did you, did you, joe did you learn anything about her that you didn't expect yeah, I learned that a lot of her exes were. Ooh, athletes. she gave you all that. She gave you that look. Let me, let me, let me, let me break something down for y'all real quick. And I got here with Joe, 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 because she gave you that look. So I just want you to think carefully. I'm gonna give you a a, a, a mulligan here because she looked at you like, don't say the wrong thing. So I just want to make sure you're doing what you're right. supposed to. Do. I'm giving you a chance, my brother. What did you learn? Okay, let me. I learned that. I learned early on that she's a very loving and giving individual, and. For me, it's important that I support her in the ways that she needs to be supported and let her know it's okay to self-love. Yeah. So. Well, what I learned Ooh. about him since you put me on blast on the Black News channel <laughs> um, about my past is that, yes, um, I learned some amazing things about this man. One thing that I did learn, which is, uh, which is interesting, is that I realized that there were... Um, uh, points in our relationship where we stopped having fun and what I realized is we had to discover the the, the sides of ourselves that no longer were, were, was partaking in our relationship and was living outside of our space and we had to rediscover that again so I discovered number one that you know other than the people that he dated in the past what I did learn is that he can be fun and he's not a prude and he's not so uptight all the time and we had to find that out about each other's and I think that that was the thing that I loved the most you said the word date. That's interesting to me because after 10 years, a lot of people say, do y'all even date each other? 
right? Like, do y'all have date nights? Do y'all do stuff? Or are y'all just old married folk now that just, you know, who gonna heat up the food? Yeah, that's that's actually one of the things that you have to be intentional about. Uh, you know, I mean, everybody goes through mm-hmm. phases in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just key to make sure you refocus and don't forget about the important things, which is, you know, getting out and having a date night and, you know, having fun. You know, uh, you, you know, you were in a relationship for so long, a lot of times you just kind of fall into being an autopilot, you know. But and date night, and- when date night, let's be honest, our date nights have turned into therapy. Oh, yeah, that's the new date. That night. is the new. Get into the trend. Date night is therapy. With your, with your, which therapist. Is, with your therapist, though. With your therapist. I know you're looking at me like, why? Yeah, yeah you got that look like, are you serious? That is a very yeah, no, Let me be clear. Right? Let me be clear. Yeah, because like, I'm down with therapy. Every, every Friday at 1 o'clock, I'm there, right? I'm down with okay. dating. I'm down with the date, right? Y'all couples got to go on a date. I'm down with that. It's the combo. Right. It's the dating therapy combo I hadn't heard of. I'm thinking like a movie, a restaurant, you know, a massage. Like, like you like, no, we're going to talk about our childhood. It's like a combo meal with the best side piece, right? So after the therapy, the beautiful part is your therapy. You're not going through all your unpacked trauma necessarily, but it's intentional because that night that you're, I mean, we don't do date night all the time with therapy, but when we do, it is intentional. We put the work in, we have fun. And then when we're done, we can exhale, you know, visit some things and then have some amazing, you know, some amazing love making, you know, in the vehicle. That's more than I want okay. to share with everybody. But therapy's done in the car. <laughs> you, 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 have, you have to be you have, you have to be creative. You know what I mean? Uh, without a love. doubt. And you know, people people, you know, think of therapy and you just think it's such it has to be such an intense space. Yes. Uh, but you know, therapy can be fun. So it's just it's really a process of understanding one another. So yeah, you know, you definitely, you know, having a date night, you know, wine and, and doing therapy because everything is, you know, done via internet nowadays yeah. i mean it works you know and uh you know i think it's a good testament to bringing us in the space that we're in now that's very true joe you, you've talked about uh the importance of mental health wellness in your own life separate from just the couple thing right as a black man as a mm-hmm. father and of course as a partner talk to me a little bit more about uh what that has meant to you well you know what uh I mean, it's funny, you know, I mean, before I started therapy, I didn't recognize the things that I've gone through as a younger uh, uh, kid as being traumatic. Even as an adult, you know what I mean? Having a child, you know, is a form of trauma in a sense, not in a bad way, but your life has changed from the way it used to be. So, and you know, the other thing is, you know, it's such a stigma in our community and uh, you know, you know, I've shared with the wife, like, you know, as a black man, most of us suffer in silence, uh, you know, because we're taught to be strong and keep pushing and things like that. And I realized going to therapy, it provided me a safe space to discuss, you know, the day-to-day stress that comes along with being just a black man, you know, out in the world, being concerned about being pulled over and, uh, you know, just the things that's going on in everyday life, you know, as a black man. So I, I feel like it is, it has helped me in so many ways. And, you know, I, it was probably one of the best decisions I could have made for myself. And I highly encourage it for other, uh, you know, other people. I'm going to ask y'all, I'm going to ask y'all both a question before we go. Kita, I want you to finish this sentence for me. Joe yep. has made me better because. Mm. Joe has made me better because He's helped me understand um, how to love him as a black man from his point of view and not from my own expectations. Wow. Joe, finish the sentence for me. Kita has taught me how to. Everything. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you know what? No, seriously. Um... <laughs> that man is trained. <laughs> no, she she she, she has Keep like that's me. right, baby. That's good. That's good. <laughs> no, seriously, she, she put God first, first and foremost. Um, she's taught me that. Uh, faith 
you know, I often, you know, focus on what's physically happening opposed to looking at how things could, you know, the positive thing. So she has definitely uh, anchored me in faith. And, you know, that is an asset that, I mean, is, is priceless, you know, to have faith. So she has definitely uh, provided that for me. Oh, wow. Man. We're going to pray. Really We're going to have therapy. Tell you so and we're going to have some black love. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. And in a world that don't love black people, black love is an act of rebellion, an act of joy, and an act of freedom, man. Thank y'all for loving each other so deeply and so public publicly. And I can't wait to see the new season <laughs> kicking off this week. Joe Hardy and Keita Williams, thank you.